I decided in this video, I'm going to give you a very quick tip in SolarWorks. And this is something that would help you save a lot of time, regardless of the level you are at. If you're a beginner, if you're an intermediate or a professional, you can still benefit from this. This is one of the fundamental information that I will teach to my students when they are beginner, because it is a very basic information. And if you want to build a very strong foundation without any gap in your information and knowledge, you need to imply this from the get go. So if you're a beginner, it's good that you learn it now. But if you are an intermediate or a professional, you can still benefit from this. So let's go and see what the tip is today that I'm trying to teach you. This is a component that I have already created in SolarWorks and the tip today is to place your very first base sketch when you're drawing a 2D sketch for the very first time, the first thing you draw exactly on the center of your canvas, that is put the coordinate system in the center of your drawing. So let's just show you what I mean. This is your drawing plane you have the coordinate system. And if you're going to draw a rectangle, do not come here and draw it like this. Don't do that. You could do this. You could pull this off. There is nothing wrong with it, but it will cause you some complications later on in your project. And it will make you to waste unnecessary time, time that you can save and spend otherwise and it will make you to create some unnecessary custom planes causing your model to be more complicated. Instead of this, I'm going to delete it, come and draw a center rectangle, place the first point on the center and draw it like this. Now, whatever dimension you want to give it, I don't mind, just do what you want. And the most important thing is this is in the center. First of all, it makes your fully defining process way easier. Second of all, the reason I say do this is once you draw your first sketch on the center of your canvas, you have already taken the advantage of putting at least two of your defined planes out of the three, which you have here on the center of your sketch. So later on, when you're going to cut it in half, when you're going to see the cross section, when you're going to mirror something in the half when you're going to do whatever you can already use one of the default planes and you don't need to create a new one look right plane is cutting my sketch exactly in half and so is the top plane now front plane is on the sketch or sketch is on the front plane so it doesn't make any sense the next step could also help you the next step could also help you to place the front plane in the middle instead of extruding it one side blind, turn it to mid plane. Always do that because if there is no preference, this is something you should do. Now my front plane is in the center. My top plane is in the center and my right plane. It's even in my webinar. You could just go to the link card on the top corner, top right corner and watch the webinar. This is one of the 10 common mistakes every SolidWorks beginners make. And I go on and on about it in every detail. So if you want to learn more about this topic, Go to the top right corner of this video now. There should be a card that will take you there. All right. Uh, let me show you one example of a component that I have done already. And the reason I tell you when you should do it from the get go is that later on, when your component is almost finished, it is more difficult to come back and fix it. Look, my top plane is in the middle. My right plane is also in the middle. It means my sketch was already placed on the center, but my front plane is not cutting my component in half. So it shows that I have already uh, not followed my ins own instruction. In this case, I didn't need to because I knew how the component is going to end up. But a lot of times you don't know because it's a more complicated model than this one. And therefore, instead of doing some guesswork, just do it like that and remove any risk. In this case, I didn't. And if I want to go back, and now fix it at this level, I will cause some um, complications so starting from this point because it is a drafted um, extrusion and only changing from uh, blind to mid plane. I'm going to change that angle or apply this angle from one side to both sides and 
cut its length in half in each side. So already I'm going to change the shape. Look, I have created some unnecessary surfaces here, which are not, um, which shouldn't be there. So at this point, it is late for me to do this or it's not worth it anymore. If I had it done from the beginning, it would have been perfect by this time. So recap, draw your sketch on the center of your canvas, like what I did here, whether it's a circle, whether it's anything, draw it on the center. Your very first extrusion, if you're going to do an extrusion, do it mid plane. Do these two and you will thank me later. This tip along with a lot of other tips can be learned here and there, maybe like this video on YouTube or anywhere else, maybe on forums and etc. But the more important key to learning SOLIDWORKS for good is to know the relation between these pieces of information because these pieces of information are like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. I can give you all the pieces together, but without giving you the whole image, what you are going to build, it is very difficult to uh, put these pieces rightly next to each other. And that is why I decided to give you some tips if you know where to imply it, that's good, more power to you. If you don't know where this piece of puzzle would go, go to the link in the description below, watch my 40 minutes webinar. I have made the perfect webinar for you. Watch it and there is the sequence in focus, all right? Watch it and you'll see what it is all about. Because to learn anything, any subject for good, for understanding it and never forgetting it, you need to know the information and you need to know the sequence between these information. All right, I'm Ryan. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon. I'm going to give you a lot of cool videos in the next coming days and weeks.